I did these floor pans when my, um, I restored them when my dad was sick and he like started them with me, you know, and then he passed away. So they sat unfinished for like, I swear, like a year. Like I did not want to finish the floor pans. It was like mad at them, you know what I mean? So when I did finally do the floor pans, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing and I just uh, wung it, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> What is up, darlings, and welcome back to Kirsty's Cars. So, it's been wild here. Um, I am directly in between two giant fires that are happening here in Colorado. Um, I do live on the outskirts of town, um, pretty much resting up against the foothills, and it's been a wild couple days watching these fires. Um, I'll try to throw in some clips and pictures and videos that I got here. Unbelievable. Right here by my casa. The Alexander Mountain Fire is now at 9,000 acres and 5% containment. It's absolutely crazy. My house is the blue dot. Ah. Um, but with that being said, the air is super smoky, okay? Um, not safe to breathe. So I can't really open up the shop and vent it out because it's super smoky out there, right? I do not think this is going to get shut down anytime soon, so there's really no point in waiting it out, you know what I mean? I was kind of waiting it out because it's so hot and I just didn't want to be stuck in here in the hot, but I cannot wait weeks, months to get rolling on this. We gotta get rolling on this now, so. Oh yeah, also, just to let you know, I had somebody comment that all my stuff is reversed and whatnot. Um, I film everything off of my cell phone. Um, I had GoPros at one point, but they all got stolen when my camera gear got stolen before race week. Um, so I no longer have GoPros and I only film off my phone. So I am in selfie mode <clears throat> um, and I'm pretty sure that's what does it. Super sorry about that. And sorry for not staring at the camera. I tend to stare at myself often. Sorry about that also. Um, I really just want a GoPro. We're getting there, we're getting there. but. Could work with what I got right now and all I got is my phone so anyways we're gonna make this happen with the fire with the backwards phone camera angle we're gonna make it happen <laughs> we have so much stuff to get rolling on <clears throat> um my initial plan was to start on the L all right because believe it or not I got a brand new quarter panel for the L Oh, I am so grateful. There was a fan named Eric, and he just sent me this. Like, I'm not even kidding. I cannot believe it. So excited. But I'm also a little nervous to cut out the El Camino. Because <laughs> it is Dad's. Dad is no longer with me, and I just want to do good by him. You know what I mean? I've never replaced something this big, and I'm super nervous about it. Not only because my welding skills are not the best, but my cutting skills are not the best either. <laughs> so it just doesn't really work out too well. But how do we learn? We do. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do, and I'm probably going to learn a lot. <laughs> Let's not laugh, but it's true. But today I figured what better way to spend the day than working on 
the Nova, okay? Because that's what I'm really excited about. I really just want to get this bad boy on the road. Um, this was also a gift sent to me by a fan. Ah, 74 Nova. I absolutely love it. Oh my goodness. I felt like this was the perfect day to wear this though because we're gonna get rocking on the Nova. It's so exciting. So what we're gonna do, as you guys know, or hopefully you know, I have been building this car all by myself out here. Um, I personally cut out and welded in the floor pans in the Nova, all right? My first time welding, not the best job, uh, not gonna lie. But I did it and I learned. So I really need to seal it, you know, a good seal to where water and other things can't get in there and ruin my perfect job. <sighs> By the end of this year, that Nova is gonna be done, okay? All I'm waiting on is a compressor. I just gotta find a compressor and then I'm gonna paint it myself too. Um, I did get a paint gun from one of my fans, super exciting. Um, and I'm just gonna do it because A, I know I can, and B, I know I can. <laughs> and even if I can't, I'm gonna learn how to, so then I can, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh man. We're working on the Nova today, people. I am so freaking excited. You hot riders have been waiting for this. Me too, honestly. I'm so sick of working on that gosh dang Subaru. But look, I got the bottom piece to my mirror complete. If you guys watched my Subaru video, we were just waiting on this final cap right here. And look, we got that cap popped in. Bam, bam, bam. All right, we got the final piece in the mirror. Oh, this is that last piece to the Subaru uh, mirror. The cover cap out mirror right low. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna break it before I even open it. Bam. We got our piece. This should just snap on. I might have to pull the cap off, actually. Darn it. All right. Put this piece on first. We'll make things a lot easier. But I didn't have it, so I just put the cap on. There we go. Just slides right in there. Covers up the bottom. But yeah, I just had to show you guys because, you know, you went along that other journey with me in the other video. And I just had to show you that ugh, it all pops back into place. Bam. So now it's fully complete. Heck yeah. I had to use my little lift here to get the Subaru motor that I have out of the El Camino so that I could take it on the Longmont cruise. Um, I decided not to film or do photography at the Longmont cruise this year. I decided just to go for me. I absolutely loved it. All right, I, I truly just got to live in the moment. You don't realize how much you miss when you're filming and focused on doing photography at those shows. Um, so I was just grateful that I got to rip the El Camino around, some laps with the kiddos. It was so much fun. El Camino is running great. She's doing good. We're just gonna work on the body. But the Nova is not running, and we need to fix that. So, we need to start on the body so that we can get this bad boy running. I don't know if I need to raise the jack stairs or if I'll be able to fit under there comfortably, but we're I don't need a too much room, but I need 
know what I mean. Yeah, this is a. Uh... <laughs> it looks like an amateur did this. I don't know what's up with AutoZone, but they don't seem to have what I need ever. So, we went to O'Reilly's again, and we got some seam sealer because I realized that I really need to seal some seams on that Nova, man. I did those floor pans, the welds on the inside look all right, all right, but the bottom is just open and exposed, so we need to seal that. I also have been sweating it out driving for months now, um, and my friend Harvey dropped off some AC cans, so I got a little connector thing so I can refill my AC and possibly not die every time I have to drive somewhere. That would be amazing, so heck yeah. One day I might have AC that works. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, so I crawled under there and I am going to use, where did it go? There it is, the seam sealer right here. Um, this would mean that I need to find a caulking gun. Did you see my emphasis? on the L. <laughs> you know, it's not often that I use these kinds of tools like that, but I know I have one. Uh, I have almost one of everything, I am pretty sure. Finding it in the mess of mess of mess of mess. You know what I mean? It's somewhere. All right, so found one of these contraptions. All right, <laughs> caulking gun. Found it. Um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> and when I say pretty sure, I mean I'm not sure at all, <laughs> because I really have never done this, which is exciting. My instincts tell me I'm supposed to open that first. Um, all right, so first of all, we got to figure out how to work this thing in my jigger because I am not a caulking professional. <laughs> this much I do know, you need to load a gun. No matter what kind of gun it is, you got to load it before you can use it, right? Right? <laughs> I'm thinking this is a lock. Thinking you hold this bad boy down, maybe. Oh, load it that way. Bam! Look at me go. Maybe I am a professional. Because that does not look... I don't... I don't know. I'm scared about that. I'm, I'm scared about all of this. Ah! A, I don't know what I'm doing. B, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> C, I do know that we got to get down here and degrease all this and clean it all. So, I guess we gotta start somewhere, right? Right? And honestly, it doesn't look too bad. I am not uh, too worried about it. I mean, it could be a hell of a lot worse. All of these seams need to be filled. So all the way around this new pan, where the cross members are, we're gonna go ahead and seal like all of this, you know. Again, not a professional. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> I welded these floor pans in myself. Was it a professional job? Absolutely not. It was my first time ever welding anything, you guys are kidding me. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look too shabby. It could be a thousand times worse, ain't gonna lie, you know, like, I mean, I know they're stable. That's that's how much I do know for sure. But we are rocking on this Nova, man. I got all the interior rocking, man. We got the kill mat down. I went ahead and did a whole layer of like some base, like black, you know, just because I was sick of looking at everything. Some rust protectant. We got the kill mat up in here. 
we got the roof all done. Now I need to buy me a headliner. But yeah, we got to drill seat holes, do the seam sealer, connect the dang chassis, get these bushings in here, connect the chassis, get that all done. And then we got a painter, man. Ugh. Just cover up this whole section and just paint that body. Oof. If you don't know, I've been going on this body work on this Nova for years. Like, all of it. Like, all of it. So, if you're bored, you go back, check out some of the old Nova videos. I actually have a video of me doing the floor pans even, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that's exciting. So, I've devised a plan. I am going to wheel out the chassis because it is not connected. So... I'm going to wheel that bad boy out a little bit, and then I'm going to jack up the whole car, lift the stands a bit as high as I can get them, you know, and try and just give myself as much working room as possible. That'd be great. Now I need to get a big piece of wood or something. Jack up this front. Ah, wide open spaces. Need to cut these zip screws, which I just realized I do. <laughs> yeah, that's from uh, the old floor pan. Putting the new one in. Uh, I kind of needed it to hold, um, to hold my line so that. Cause I hadn't welded before, so I kind of just used zip screws in there to hold it in place where I needed to start tacking, whatever, you know. I just, that's how that goes. I see one thing, like, dang it, I need to do that too. Cause yeah, I do need to cut those down and grind them down. I think it's just on this one side I had to do it really, but we'll just grind those off. Nothing like spending your night off alone in a quiet shop with a task so I'm thinking those gaps are pretty freaking huge you know and I'm not gonna be be able definitely not gonna be able to fill those with just the uh, one tube that I have that's for gosh dang sure Ugh. but I'm thinking maybe I should you know pull a hammer tab and get my hammer out and maybe pound some of this stuff like kind of closer you know uh, seems logical I mean I could go and cut that all out more that seems like it take forever to go honestly and I do not just have this like jack holding this up like I have stands everywhere and I just left the jack there for a double triple quadruple security you know what I mean and I chopped the wheels real good in the back so no roly pulley action happening here man uh -uh. but so yeah she's pretty secure on these stands I think I'm gonna grab a hammer and just start whacking see what I can do you know I mean it's not the worst job for being my first job, I'm content with it, you know what I mean? But, uh, that doesn't mean it's, uh, good. <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst, you guys. Come on, you know. Some of the parts look real good, you know, real good. Look, you can see, you can see the kill mat. That's kind of cool. Peek up through the floor. Whoa. It is so freaking hot out here right now. Oh my gosh. And I opened up my garage door and I was just like, oh, it's so cool outside. But it also smells like a burning freaking mountain. Because that's what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Oh, I don't know what's happening with the hairdo, guys. All right, we're just gonna get this done. <laughs> and we can't even get it done. 
technically, because O'Reilly's only had one of these. So, we just get to start it. But I'll finish it, you know. But, anyways, this video is just going to show you guys the gist, alright? So, we have the caulking gun, which I found. And now I'm just going to puncture some dang holes in this stuff here. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Yeah, buddy. Get it nice and opened up. All right. <laughs> Looks good, guys. Looks real good. All right. And then you screw this bad boy out here. And then... Uh, and then... Up there... We shall do the trick. We'll cut the tip off. Mm. Oop. That'll do. Give it a nice little angle, you know, since we're gonna be like like that and figure, you know, it's a pretty good angle. Anyways, gonna load it up in there like that. Get it. Oop. <laughs> I think that means we're good to go. I'm gonna squeeze the trigger holes. Oh. Oh yeah, it's gotta like. Uh, I think it's gotta like conform. Tell me you don't know how to use one of these without telling me you don't know how to use one of these. I think this one might just be defective. Is this defective? Oh, that's scurry. It's like... Oh! 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 Shit. It's effective. It works. It works. Got a little bit out there. Okay, so... Release pressure. We'll stop it from coming out. I got it. I got it. I feel like I need to put a rubber band on this thing. I don't think it's supposed to come out like that. Like, push up like that. I don't know. Zip tie. Zip tie. <laughs> Zip tie's always work. Good. I feel like I'm going to be focusing pretty dang hard on just, like, uh, doing this right. Have the concentration skills to focus on holding this down. Because it just wants to keep popping out, you know? So, I don't know. I know, you don't have to do that usually, but it's, maybe I don't, maybe it's supposed to do that. Is it supposed to lift and like, come out like that? I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I do that a lot. <laughs> Am I overthinking this? I was not overthinking. Finally in life, for once. Like for real, it felt like it was gonna. <laughs> it felt like it was gonna fall out of there, on my face, underneath the car, if I turned the gun wrong, which I was correct. I would have just got smacked in my face with some seam sealer, <laughs> a big old. <laughs> oh, can I go there? Can I go there? Why do they call this stuff that? Or not this stuff. Why do they call call? Does anybody know why that is? It's just such a weird <laughs> I don't know. And for all you professional culkers out there, I'm not meaning to bag on your job or nothing, you know. This is, this is kind of cool, you know? But why do they call it that? Like, like, what's the actual reason for calling this that? I would really like a history lesson on that. All right, we got our gun. It's loaded. So we're gonna get down there. We're gonna pound a little bit. See what we can straighten out, even out, you know. So that way I don't have to like stick a whole bunch of caulk.
side am I gonna work on actually? You know, I think we're gonna do that side first, guys. I like the look of the other side better. I don't know about you guys, but it's just me. See that on there? See that on there? You have won nothing but a lot of hard work. Um, use hammer to hold up phone. The obstacles I go through that nobody knows, you know. I've got to do a lot of prepping, a lot of planning, a lot of moving things around. Can, I, can you see me? Are you going to be able to see where I'm at? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, so. <laughs> I did these floor pans when my, um, I restored them when my dad was sick. And he, like, started them with me, you know. And then he passed away. So they sat unfinished for, like, I swear, like a year. Like, I did not want to finish the floor pans. I was, like, mad at them. You know what I mean? So, when I did finally do the floor pans, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing, and I just, uh, wung it, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> there's a lot of things that I did that I forget that I did, like putting the screws in everywhere, but that's because I couldn't hold those things up, you know? Like, they're, like, loose, and I'm, like, trying to, you know, weld them, and... Concealer. We got... Scrapey doohickeys, just in case. One thing I didn't grab was uh, a rag. And I also don't have gloves. But I found some in a box of hair dye. <laughs> so, I do have gloves. I just gotta go get them. Because I forgot them. Of course, this application process might be a little different than what these gloves are given to you for. But, they're going to be a giant. I don't know if you guys men, if you men know that. If you haven't dyed your hair, I'm probably showing you something cool. In the instructions in the hair dye box, look. Not even kidding you. Love. Love. <laughs> Love. So random. Love. Are these the best gloves? No. Um, but I don't ever wear gloves. I just... Eh, I haven't gotten too dirty yet, and I really just want to be able to go inside and play video games. Alright, we're pretty much just trying to, like, seal these seams, you guys. You know what I mean? Like, there's these open seams. We don't want water getting in there. So that's what this seam sealer is for. Specifically for said purpose. Alright. Seal. Seal seams. Without eating. Seam seal. Okay. Okay. I just had those. Alright, so... I'm just making sure none of that's going to drip off. We are not professionals. This is my first time ever doing anything like this, you guys. So. You as my witness. Um, this, is, this could go bad. This could go real bad. We don't even know yet. I mean, I feel laying thick there is a good start. Not letting it fall on shop floor. Better start. Oh, there's hair in that. What the heck? Oh, man. When they say this stuff's sticky, they not get around. That stuff's sticky. I don't know if 
them seams are getting sealed properly. Get up. Let me stuff it on. <laughs> How do you guys do this? Am I supposed to stuff it? I feel like I'm supposed to stuff it. Ah! It looks like chaos, but it is controlled. We are controlled, people. We got this. Controlled chaos is never a new thing in the shop, you know. There's always a little bit of something. It's just a little bit smaller. <laughs> It'd be a lot easier to maneuver this bad boy. Okay, 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 okay. Don't, don't give up on me yet. There may be hope after all. In my seam sealing days. Or you guys could let me know, maybe like this is like bad. <laughs> You know, when I think about seam sealing, though, what I think about is, you know, sealing the seam. So, I feel like as long as I'm uh, on that mindset, not a whole lot can go wrong. Because we ain't winning no beauty pageant. We already know that, you know. It ain't all about looks. Hmm. She gonna make me feel real good though. I'll tell you that much. And that right there is worth it. You know. Doesn't gotta be pretty. Freaking. Almost midnight. Out here just uh, working on my Nova. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. All right, let's move back a little bit farther here. You know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to get my charger because my phone about to die, you guys. phone is about to die. If the phone dies, then I uh, can't feel my progress here. That's the I mean, I'm going to come down here and paint all this undercoat anyway, you know, so don't, uh, don't judge a girl too hard, you know, it could be a lot worse, it could be a lot worse. We're just going to wholeheartedly say it could be a lot worse, you know. Just seal it, seal it. <laughs> that is a big seam. Did I tell you guys I'm not a professional? <laughs> I hope so. I freaking hope so. Nope. 
This looks so horrible because it was my first time, alright? <laughs> Can't expect everybody to be a professional the first time. You gotta let them try. You gotta let them learn. You know, and I know if Dad was here, he would definitely be uh, teaching me some stuff. But, for now, I'm on my own, and I gotta just go for it. So, we're going for it, people. And we're not doing too bad of a job. You know? yeah. Let's prevent crap from getting all up in here. Seal it off. I'll paint it with some rust barrier, you know, protectant. Trigger Now, by the end of this, I'm going to be saying, not a professional, but could be. I feel like I could be. I shouldn't speak too soon. Mm -hmm. Still a lot to go. A lot. That seam is a little bigger than the other one. So, I let it dry a little bit and I give it a little special coat. Um, just, uh, feeling pretty confident in this, you know. Feeling like I might be due for a clear change. These seams here. The Grand Canyon of seams. So, I don't know how well this one's gonna go, but what can we do? This dark thing on the thing. That's not gonna die though, so we're just gonna go. Oh, oh don't be there. It was, I don't know. Uh -oh. Oh. You guys, <laughs> that was close, dude. Okay, that's it. Have eye protection on. I see. I thought it was <sighs> When the phone dies, I'll go in and get my charger and I'll get I know, that was silly. That was nonsense. But I made it that whole time without that happening. But that one little bit. Could have been mad. You know how I said my look was horrible last video? Maybe it's turning around. <laughs> what do you know? <sighs> Let's just finish up this part. Finish up this part. You can't do it. 
<laughs> see, guys. You can see that gap is uh, pretty hardcore right there. That's like a whole tube of freaking seam sealer. So I'm just gonna whack it. See what I can do. It's gonna make a difference. Who knows? All right, I ran out of the seam sealer, but, oh my gosh, I did get a lot accomplished. I wanted to show you guys, I got this all the way down. I did not do this side yet, because I'm thinking I'm gonna cut maybe some of this, or, I don't know, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. But, just for the front, I just did that front part. And then over here, I fully got all of these seams. This one, this one, all the way around that back way. Gosh, man, so much sticky up there. Um, this one is a little thick. I'm gonna try and beat it down some more before I go get another can of the seam seal. But yeah, I pretty much just like sealed seams, you know what I mean? It's not fancy, it does not look fancy. <laughs> but when I paint it all black, you probably will not be able to tell that it's not fancy. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to keep it from rusting, guys. I just want to do it right, I just want to do it right, I just want to do it right. That's really all it is, is I'm just, uh, dripping sweat. <laughs> At midnight, now covered in this stuff, which now I know I'm gonna have to go spend an hour in the shower trying to get this off, but I got something accomplished and I'm happy with that, you know? I'm happy with that. Even though I ran out. I wish I would've had two tubes. I would've got two tubes. I would've got three tubes, probably. Cause you can't like go wrong with having that stuff. I don't see how you could go wrong with having it. Just frustrating, you know? Half the job complete. But that one tube went a lot farther than I expected. Like, I am not even gonna lie about that. That one tube went far. Like, real far. Gosh, I look like I stuck my finger in a light socket or something. It's hot workout down there, man. I don't even know. I don't even know what to tell you guys. I blame the light. I also have a hoodie on just because I didn't want to be sliding around down there, you know, without the hoodie on. So. Anyways, I'm so happy that I was able to get this video done for you guys, or at least get this process done, show you what I'm talking about. Obviously, I'm going to have to do a part two, show you guys the final finished project, you know, but one step at a time, one step at a time, and I'm trying to get out as much footage as I can. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me so much, like so much. It's so great. It really is. Like, it gives me the drive to get back out here. Like it really does. Like I just, I'm so ready. So ready to drive this car. Don't forget that you guys rock. Don't forget that, all right? I will catch you guys around very, very soon.